الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أصول السنة للإمام أحمد بن حنبل وإن بركراف 29 يريج the fifth lesson lesson number five in that paragraph virtue of the companions and in the virtue of the companions we reach it, the first point in our lecture which is al the follow the children so who can be a, a, a companion we say definition of the companion the person who have see, who saw or met the Prophet yeah. and died in the state of Islam. If he have seen the Prophet, he believed in him, and then he died in the state of Islam. Also, some of them they are busted and they came back. So, from which age? It can be companion. From the birth, whoever born at the time of the Prophet can be companion. What is the meaning of a companion? It means who believe it, the Prophet, who knows he is a prophet. It's different than the others. So if you seen the Tamiz, if you seen the Tamiz, at the age of uh, discrement, means the age he can know what's right, what's wrong. The age, you can know which tribe is wrong. Yeah. Around four upwards, or five upwards. Yeah. You don't need to reach all the, the people and say, who reach the people is yeah, companion. But when they know yeah, this is a prophet, and no one else is a prophet, and we should believe him, and we should follow him, yeah. that means you have some sense of understanding. حديث متفق عليه عن محمد بن الربيع قال أقالت I remember I remember I have been I had mind to remember on that time من النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم مجة مج means it's it's more spit from teeth when you have a word in your mouth yeah and you spit bit from your mouth yeah he said, Majjaha, yeah. He threw it, Fiwaji, on my face. Prophet Asam came to the house, he had water, and he came running to the Prophet Asam, and Prophet uh, spit pit of water on, on his face. Wana Ibn Khams Sinina, and I was five years old. For that five years old, if you hear something from the Prophet, you can narrate later on. He knows what the Prophet done to him at that age. Yeah. So you can say, I've seen Prophet doing this. So even the children, yeah, in that age or in that sense, they can be companions. Mean tell me if he died in a for and there was a packet yeah, uh, hanging from the ceiling to cool the water. To cool the water. So Prophet Asam uh, drank from that. And he ran to the Prophet. Prophet spit little Asalam, on his face. Yeah. Now we understand who can be a companion. In the Sahiha, Abdullah ibn Busrin, Abdullah ibn Busrin was very young. There's a hadith of Saturday fasting. Sometimes he mentioned his sister, Sama Abdullah bin Yusuf, and Sama and Louisa. And sometimes he doesn't mention his sister. She's a companion, and she's a companion, and if he miss her name, that's not a problem. So he was young. He said, An Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, put his hand on his head. وقال, Prophet said, 
this child yeah, will stay alive are non essential. No one knows what's essential. No one knows what's essential. The Prophet said, This boy will stay alive essential. And then they start to count his life. For Asha, me at the Saratin, he lived it 100 years. So the century is 100 years. The miracle of the Prophet. And I showed him this boy, young boy, a child, he can stay alive until he reaches 100 years old. And that's what happened. So when he fulfilled it and filled up 100, he died. So the current or century is 100 years. خامسا حق الصحابة علينا. Commandments they have right upon us. So a generation, and we are a generation. No, they have right upon us. The religion we have, it came to us through the commandments. We didn't see the prophet. We didn't send us text message. How we know the prophet's message? through commandments. And they are the one who spread it all over the world. They took the Risala and they spread it. And that's a very important point. Sahaba are the one who spread Islam. And they are the one who fought the Islam. حديث متفق عليه أنا سن قال أنا سن المالك قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم آية المنافق المنافق as a lot of signs منافق is in everywhere especially today in our society there is a lecture إن شاء الله about the منافقس in details Ayatul Munafiq, the son of the Munafiq, Bukhdul Ansari, he hates the Ansar. And the Ansar are those, Allah said, Radiallahu Anhum. Allah said, Radiallahu Anhum, and then you hate them. So that means you are not on the line the commands of Allah. وَآيَةُ الْمُؤْمِنِ And the son of the believer, حُبُّ الْأَنْسَارِ You love the Ansar. So check, ask yourself, do you love the Ansar? And then you know where you are standing. And you know your position. And you know your Iman. آية المنافق بقد الأنصار وآية المؤمن يحب الأنصار حديث متفق عليه عن أبي سعيد الخدري قال قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لا تسبوا أصحابي don't abuse my companions don't abuse my companions If someone says to you, in the Ramadan, don't drink. Can you say drink is haram, but food allowed to eat? When it says, la the subhu as habi, means don't kill my companions also. But this, 
like super wasabi, is to us more than yeah, to the companion among them. Like the super wasabi. For anna ahatakum, if one of you anfaqa contribute, مثل أحد ذهبا yeah. Gold equivalent to the Mount Uhud. Gold equivalent to Mount Uhud. This is Medina, which the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There is two rocket mountains on the sides, east and the west, called Harra. And this Harra, there were big event happened in the year 63 where there's fight between Muslims at the area of east of Harra, Harra Waqid. Inshallah, we take a lesson for this. And this is Jawl Ir. So Uhud is further up to the north. Further up to the north. This is Mount Uhud. Just in the size, if you compare to this house with two floors, you can imagine the size of Uhud. It is far from the Masjid of Prophet five kilometers. Its length is seven kilometers. There are a few villages around, which Two to three kilometers. Height, 350 at the big, uh, peak point. This big amount, this big mountain, if you put it on the way, scale, and you put all the coal you have on the other scale, and you balance it, and you donate all that, what you're expecting, what reward you're expecting to get? A lot. Now when you donate, uh, 1,000 pounds, you say, takbir, takbir, Allah, for Allah, for all bid'ah. All that takbir and bid'ah. Yeah. And the bid'ah, and then became, yeah, to sell al takbir. Someone donated 10 pounds, you're not selling takbir. 5,000, you pay, you say takbir. So you are selling the takbir itself. Another bid'ah. Yeah. Who deserves the takbir? That's the problem you are facing. Nothing called takbir. Umar ibn Khattab killed the Prophet with half of his wealth, half wealth. What asked him, what you left for your family? He said, similar to this. Prophet said, takbir. No. And now Bakr came. And Prophet said, what you left for the family? He said, for Allah and his messenger. Nothing left behind. Yeah. Prophet didn't say takbir. Prophet didn't say takbir. So this takbir is not right. It's not right. So this is the Mount Uhud. If you donate the gold equivalent to this amount, you no know one has uh, gold equivalent to that amount, uh, that mountain. No one has. But if that happened. Yeah. What's happening? Ma balaga. Yeah. If you never reach, mutta ahadi mala nasifu. The mut of the food, a companion donated. Even half of it, you never reach the words. When it's in the companions, that's the earlier ones and the late ones. Early companions of more rewards than the late ones. If it's for us, yeah, we can't read the companions. So what's the mood here? Al mood and sa are two uh, points to use for the scale. Mood is 600 grams. Yeah. 600 grams. Roughly, more than bit, half kilo. Sa is 2,400. 
if you say grams, means two and a half kilos. So what's the difference in the, uh, here? 2,400 divided by 600. How much is going to be? Four. So uh, sa is four mood, roughly. It's a liquid and it's not a liquid, but it's going to be. This can, this can is 330 milliliter. Roughly close to 600, twice. So this can is 330. So it's uh, two, two of it is split more than mood. It's two liters. So two of this, roughly, and bit is going to be sad. So what the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in the Muslim, and Abdullah ibn Zaydin, radiallahu anhu, and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they brought water to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it's two, uh, two thirds of mud. Okay, let's go back. Two thirds of mud. We say mud is 600. Divide by three, 200 times two, 400. Yeah. And this kind is uh, 330. So uh, approximately close to it, 400 grams. And that amount, Prophet Azam used it for his wudu. Sometimes it's not enough for us to wash our hands rather than to have wudu with it. That amount. It's not enough to wash our hands. Yeah. We have seen yeah, how we are wasting the, the water. The ni'mah Allah gave you, but you are wasting it. So, Prophet Islam, what he done? For Ja'ala Yadlu Kudira Ai, he used yeah, to rub his hand with his arm to be sure that the water reached. There's no lot of water to pour it. Only a small bit on the hand and then wrap on it. To be sure that the water reaches the skin. Hadith Mutafaq Alayhi An Anasin Khadilla Anu Kaar Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Yitawadaw Bil Muddi Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to have ablution normally with one mud. One mood is two cans. Less than a bit uh, than two kinds, isn't it? We are testing the sign in the Hamza the Amdati, and he used to have shower, to have shower with sa. Look, that can, that bottle of uh, coca, yeah. twice of it. It may not wash your head, both of them. What I think used to use uh, to have bath. With only that amount. The Hamza Amdad. Every Hamza Amdad means roughly three bottles. Yeah. Can you use that for your ghusl? So that means what you are using, how you are dealing with the water, is wrong. So the bath is roughly. Three liters. So the earlier commanders, what they donate, the small bit they donate, the small words then, the a lot has been donated by later companions. Whatever we donate, we never reach the words of the companion. Takbir, not takbir, we never reach. We never take you up. We never take you up. So that is the state of the commandments. So la ta subhu ashabi. I've seen Shia, they are using the commandments. Especially Abu Bakr, Umar, Aisha, Hafsa. They're using them. 
You want to say they are Muslims, they are our brothers? No. No. They can't. We stop you, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, 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 alhamd